Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up image props inside of VC Face. Um, this is primarily for those who are absolute beginners at VC Face. Um, so pretty much, in case you don't know, VC Face does have a uh, native support when it comes to um, image props, which is really great um, when it comes to like having, you know, like let's say you don't want to like model out something but you have an image that you want to put on your avatar or something like that you can have it inside of easy face so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the props here and as you can see i do have some pre-existing props myself over here um all these images are made from the user uh catboy mech uh so definitely please check them out i'll leave uh their socials in the description if you want to check out where you can also get these assets from but basically though um what you're going to do um if you want to add your own image props you're going to click on the add button right here and then of course i can load an image basically once i add it um, so once you basically, you know, you select your images and you add them, of course, uh, you can then simply just click and drag onto your model. Do keep in mind that if the image is somewhere that is not on the model, it will not be seen on spout capture or anything like that. So please keep that in mind. It will not be detected. However, if the prop is on your model, uh, it can actually follow along and it actually can be visible um, to other people basically. So keep that in mind. If you want to change the size of the prop in case if it's too small, uh, use the left click button to hold the prop and then use your middle finger to make the prop bigger using the scroll wheel like this. That way you can make it bigger so that way you can have bigger props or maybe even smaller in case the image is too big. And then uh, once you have that, of course, there are the instructions down below, basically. Um, you can be able to press the X button uh, if you want to flip it um, or even the Y button to do this, depending on what you want. And then, um, of course, if by any chance you want the prop to be absolutely on top, you can just click on your scroll wheel and it will be like absolute top on that. And, um, of course, uh, you can hold the shift and then, you know, shift with your left hand and then, you know, with left clicking on and then your middle finger on the scroll wheel rotating it. You can be able to have it where you can rotate the image prop so that way you can be able to further adjust, um, you can further adjust, like, how the prop should be basically. Like, I can have it as a, a crooked mustache. Wow. So, yeah. Um, so you can do that. There's also even some extra settings here, um, right there. You can change it to, um, have a certain distance with the avatar. So you can make it farther or if it's too floaty, you can make it even closer. So that way when you're rotating, it's a bit closer. Do keep in mind this is an image prop, not a 3D model. So if you want it to look a lot more natural, it is more recommended to actually, um, model it out. There's also smoothness too. So when you trans, um... So when you change your angles, it should also add some smoothness to it, basically, when it moves. See? Like that. Look at that. <laughs> this is like the really weird, but I usually recommend just leave it at um, below. But of course, if your movements on BC Face are smoother, I would probably recommend maybe make it a little smoother. But otherwise, I usually leave the default settings, basically. And of course, you know, you can mirror it and such, um, basically, if you want. Um, or just leave it at top. But yeah, pretty much though, um, that's just the other extra settings here. And of course, if you want uh, to clear all props, you can click on the button here in case you have way too many props to remove. So yeah, um, but pretty much though, um, that's pretty much how you can set up image props inside of VC Face uh, for anyone who is new to VC Face and curious on how to do that. Um, but pretty much though, I hope that this tutorial helps you out. And let me know if you have any other questions regarding how to set up, um, you know, VC Face stuff or even other programs that I cover on this channel. And also in case you're wondering, uh, the face tracking, the blend shapes, I made these blend shapes. These are not HANA tool blend shapes at all. I made these air kit blend shapes on this Roy Mall. That's why I call this Roy Mall Test Chan, because it's an edit of mine. But either way, though, I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll leave my socials down below in case you want to contact me for any further help or assistance. And I also have a Discord server, too, um, which you can share your 3D works or ask questions. I will be there uh, any time of the day. Um, so, yeah. But that's all I have to say, though. I hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.